Alright, so it's Easter Sunday and uh, finally got a decent day. The wind's not blowing. It's not raining presently and uh, probably should be going trout fishing, hitting the pier. But instead, we're going to go after the elusive bullhead. So uh, we're going to be fishing a uh, little inlet off a of bay that connects right to Lake Ontario. And in the springtime, uh, these bullhead move into shallow water and they get really active. So uh, we got uh, leeches work really well, worms too. Uh, we didn't get any leeches, but uh, it's been so wet lately that the night crawler hunting has been easy. Been out in the yard with the kids catching crawlers. So we're gonna try those and uh, see what we can do. Got our sinker on there. We'll put some night crawler on here, throw her out, see what happens here. Right by the bridge. This guy's just had a must have been a big pike follow. So this water's really muddy. We've had a bunch of rain lately. Um but I'm hoping that won't affect the bullhead because they're pretty much cruising around, sniffing around for bait. So they're not visual hunters as much. So hopefully they'll still be able to uh, to find my stuff here. I got one basically right in the eddy of this bridge piling here, kind of short. And this other one I cast it out a ways. And that's it, they both have crawlers on them and I'm just uh, rod tip watching at this point. See what happens. So we didn't get any bites at the first bay there. Water was really muddy. So we moved to the uh, next bay to the east here and the water is somewhat clear and uh we'll see still got the uh two rods cast out with the crawlers just off bottom there and we'll see if we can get into some bullhead over here something on here small oh they had a perch ain't bad Perch. Work. Yeah, that feels like a bullhead. Maybe they're starting to bite. Getting dark. Fighting like a bullhead. Fight a lot harder than those birds. Yep, it is. Sweet. Whoa, get out of there! Oh, don't do that. <laughs> I only got eight pound test, but it was enough to rip them out of there. Oh. Nice. Nice bullhead. It didn't hook him too bad either. Nice bullhead. All right, buddy. There you go. Let's see if we can make it out of there. There. Go that way. <laughs> cool. A big old beaver there. It's about to swam into my line. <laughs> I think we. I scared him, he scared me. Got my line, duck. Two ducks. Oh, it's not coming back for it. We shall patiently wait. <laughs> little perch, little perch. That's what it was the whole time. Just a little guy. <laughs> Get tore up. Oh, 
swing and a miss. Man, that looked like a bullhead too. Dang. Uh, the crawler still looks in pretty good shape. Throw her back out there. That's a good bite there. It's right about where we were. Just catching a few perch. I just caught a nice bullhead too. Yeah, perch. Yeah, I made it. I welded it. It's aluminum and a couple pieces of PVC pipe, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just throwing them back. You don't want them or anything, do you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> He's crazy, man. The water is probably like 48. <laughs> well, I don't know guys. I was gonna move but then I caught that nice perch and I'm getting just enough bites to keep me interested here so. Don't have a ton of light left so I'm probably just gonna stick it out right here. See if maybe we can pull a couple more bullhead. Usually the bullhead fishing is better when you got a little wind and uh, we really don't have any right now which is actually kind of nice for the fishing but I guess the uh, bullhead aren't too fired up. But, uh, we'll persevere here at least until dark and hopefully we can get one or two more. <laughs> My battery died on me there. I had to charge up but it's basically been really good perch action. And uh, light's getting really low. I think I might have a bullhead here. Another bullhead. Yep, that's a bullhead. Nice. A little smaller than the last one, but it's another bullhead. Sweet. Yeah. That's what we're looking for there. Nice little bullhead. guys just about to wrap it up uh, this is the kind of fishing I grew up doing back in Ohio a lot of bottom fishing worms bait on the bottom for catfish and and that so this was fun uh, it's been a while since I did some bottom fishing and got a few bullhead and uh, they're a lot of fun and they fight hard just like most catfish do for their size and uh, so we didn't get skunk we got a few bullhead and uh, some nice perch perch were a nice surprise if we would have kept them we would have definitely had enough for a meal but uh, they lived to fight another day and so in April early May if you guys uh, up here on Lake Ontario any of these bays or uh, creeks that uh, connect to the big lake that's a good time to go try and get some bullhead and they're a lot of fun to catch so try it out thanks guys <laughs>